So they've got takeout here as well as dine-in. It's a stand-up bar, bar and eating place, which is kind of nice. But these are all the different types of chicken. It comes from Kagoshima Prefecture in Kyushu, so down in the southwest portion of Japan, and it's safe to eat this kind of chicken. It's prepared very safely, they tell me. And they've got some vegetable dishes you can take out as well, too. There's a look at today's menu. It's the Mickey menu today. Different kinds of sauces that you can put on it. But yeah, and the name of the shop is Torisashi Umematsu. Yeah, it means umai, it tastes good. Yeah, you can scan that, I'll put the information down below. The location of the restaurant is in Osaka, Sakai City, Osaka. It's close to the international airport. Having a draft beer, and look at this, Mega Brain 6100, he he's gonna join me just a little bit here. You're having a highball, cheers. cheers. Oh, that hits the spot. Oh. So we're doing the the triple set to start, the appetizer set. This is the first one. Grab yourself some chopsticks. He's going to help me translate a little bit. Okay, so the first type, the one on the left? Ponzu. Ponzu. So this has got a Japanese style light dressing on it. It's kind of like a light vinegar dressing, right? Yeah. Okay, and it's topped with some onions, it looks like. You're only going to do one piece, huh? Okay. Here we go. This is the first time ever eating raw chicken in Japan. It's part of the culture here. You got to try it. Ready? You're going to try it, right? I'm going to try it. Okay, here we go. Oh. It kind of reminds me of um, nankotsu, like chicken cartilage, yeah. the texture of it. It goes really well with the um, ponds dressing. Mm -hmm. It's better than I imagined. Right? It does not taste raw to me because of the crunchy texture. Yeah. Yeah. No wild smell or anything. It all smells really fresh. Yeah. Okay, let's move in for the next one. This one's the UK. UK. Which is? Which is. <laughs> is it liver? It might be. It might be. Okay. Going in. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like steak. Like Kobe beef right there. Are you kidding me? That's so good. It's just like beef. Yeah. It's really soft. And again, this has kind of a, a little slight muscle texture as well, too. Mm -hmm. Show you flavor? Yeah. yeah. That's great. Okay, and this one over here? This is the, the neck, right? Right. So a little more muscular, maybe. Oh, wasabi. Is that wasabi? It's wasabi. Okay. You're getting more bold with your bite sizes here. It's good. It's very good. Hmm. Mmm. This tastes like tsutoro. It does. Doesn't it? Oh it's my so gosh. Is it just because of the wasabi? It's the texture, it kind of melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I was a little nervous before coming here thinking, will I actually be able to eat this stuff? Oh, but oh my God, right? It's not amazing. kidding, right? Do not be afraid to try this stuff. So which, which one do you like the best out of the three here to start? Uh, the UK. The UK? Me, yeah. Really? I like this one, the Chu Toro. Oh my gosh, but the texture, this one's fun. They're all I like this with the pawns a lot. Mm hmm. Tastes the most like KFC. <laughs> you know, it's chewy. Oh, how's that? It's like the, the skin of KFC. Yeah. Oh. Ryan? There's a toughness, there's a meatiness to this one. Yeah, this one the best you like, huh? 
Oh my gosh. Going in for seconds. Mm. The steak, you like the steak. This tastes like beef and not like chicken. It tastes like yakiniku. Are you sure this is chicken? Hold on, toriniku desu ka? It's really chicken. But the texture's like beef. Yeah. No. I would say it's the best way to eat pure chicken. Yeah? Yeah. Would you come all the way down here again from Kanagawa Prefecture? <laughs> it's a little bit far from Kanagawa. Oh. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Okay, the next round has arrived. Two more types. So this is momo or the thigh, and this is chicken breast here. Okay. Or mune, it's called in Japanese, right? That's right. And this is a special shoyu from? Kyushu. Kyushu. And it's got a sweetness to it, apparently, which makes it go nicely with these. With both of them? <laughs> Pours very fast. Be careful. Okay, are you gonna join me this round too? I should. Looks like we've got new chopsticks, okay. Let's do this one first, the mune. This is my favorite. Chicken breast is my favorite. I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna go one. You're gonna go one, first. okay. All right, ready? And into this sweet show you. Okay. Got it. Okay, here we go. Mmm. That is a sweet show you. It's very sweet. And this meat is, it's so tender. Yeah. It feels like it's cooked a little bit though. It does not feel raw to me. Does Especially it? around the edges, around the skin is left on it. And it's, that, that has a nice texture to it. It's beautiful. I mean, it's sashimi. It feels like kind of eating fish sashimi, but it's chicken. It's incredible. And they've got a special license, how they go through all the different parts of the chicken and make sure everything is, is fresh and nothing is infected or anything like that. So. It's definitely safe to eat this. I've been reassured. It's a very popular place. Yeah. Yeah. All right, try the momo, the heavier. That's right. Do you want to go with the skin too? With the skin. Okay. Okay. Going in for the thigh meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is a, it's a bit chewier. Yeah. That's nice. Both nice. And there's also some extra toppings here. Did you notice that? They put these out for us. So here's some wasabi. This is shoga or ginger. And this one? Niniku. Niniku, garlic. I'm gonna try, try a little bit. A little bit of the shoga, I think, would go good with this. Maybe. Maybe. That goes really good with that sauce, just alone. Let's try just a little bit of that. Since they brought them, I think that's what you do. You kind of got to try them. What about you? You want to try one, a different one? I'm going to try the garlic. Okay. Good choice. that. Ready? Okay, here we go. Next round. I like that better. Gives it some kick, the garlic. No, you've got the garlic. It doesn't taste like raw meat. No, it doesn't, does it? That's a, that's a good point, Mega. Okay, I'm gonna try the garlic too now. You wanna try the shoga? Mmm. Oh, this is fabulous. 
Delicious. It kind of feels like we're at a high-end sushi place. <laughs> yeah. Yet it's just a stand-up little bar right outside the train station. It's not far from the station. About 20 minutes from downtown Osaka. Pretty good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. We have found something really interesting here today. All right, the next round is here. Beautiful looking, isn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna sear the top here. Hit it. Beautiful. What do you think of that presentation? That's so cool. Get it while it's hot. This one's already flavored, okay? But then we can put some of this on after, okay? okay? And let's get it while it's hot, shall we? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, beef jerky. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Are you sure this is chicken? Are you kidding me? And then this sauce is yuzu kosho? Is yuzu that right? Kosho. Okay, so yuzu is a citrus fruit and salt together. It's like barbecue chicken. Yeah, right? Well, technically it was barbecued, right? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. It's full of flavor with that yuzu. It's that good. is powerful. Yeah. So this one, and they're calling this the nama ham, which is just part of the chicken breast. Right. Okay. And then this one here is the neck, like the back of the neck of the chicken. Okay. And this one's this one's cooked. Yeah. This is this is warm. This is yeah. <laughs> okay. This one first. Okay. No sauce necessary. It looks like ham. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's why they're calling it nama ham in Japanese, so. Like, cured ham. <laughs> Tastes exactly like cured ham. Yeah. But it's chicken. Oh my gosh. Right? It's amazing. It's nice and salty, right? Incredible. Mmm. This is fabulous. It's chicken meat. It's not quite as oily. It's like a healthier type of, right? Yeah. Cured ham or cured, cured meat, being that it's chicken. It's I like it a lot. Salty. Yeah, it's not as salty or rich, right? And everything here is like pretty reasonably priced as well too. You don't have to spend a lot of money for this stuff. Oh, it's good. Oh. Yeah, it's so good. Mmm. It's just like prosciutto. So good. Okay, and this one? It's called Sesiri. Sesiri, which is? The, the neck. Yeah. That's right, okay. And this is cooked. He's doing this in the fry pan over there. Is it a fry pan? What do you think? It's really good. Wow. It's like a really, really good chicken wing, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm. The chewy chicken wing. So now the fried chicken has arrived. Look at these giant pieces of karage fried chicken. They're giant. It's giant. <laughs> okay, we got three types. This is the salt. Right? This is the show you show you. And so this one is the spicy here. Let's do the salt first, shall we? Okay. Okay. It's a giant. Hold it right here. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. Be careful. It's so big. Is it gonna be hot? <laughs> Mm. 
What do you think? I love it. <laughs> he loves it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I kind of miss the sashimi chicken. It was just cooked stuff. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice and lean, though. It's not. It's it's not too oily or greasy. Right. Right. And it's very crunchy. It's crunchy. There's a juiciness to it. Mmm. Oh. No bones. Oh, and it's really hot. As it should be. Yeah. The crunchiness is nice. Yummy. Okay, next up is the giant vanilla ice cream. No, 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 no. This is tofu, ladies and gentlemen. It's giant tofu. I've never seen tofu this big. In this shape, I've never seen it before. Or it could be nikuman. It's a big dumpling. You like tofu? Not so much. Not so much. Okay. It's like too beautiful. Very beautiful. You get some onions. You get in there. How's that? Ready? Go on in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like tofu. It's in the pond's dressing. It's a nice little break from the chicken. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beans. The dressing's really tangy. Served chilled, of course. It's pretty tasty. It's pretty good. He says he doesn't like tofu, and it's like, we're halfway through it already. <laughs> we got tofu on the floor. Okay, now that the fried chicken's cooled down a little bit, try to show you next. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tasty. This is classic Japanese fried chicken. The shoyu flavor. Yeah. But I'm tasting a bit of a sweetness, too. You know? Well, typically the fried chicken in Japan, the boneless type, they're small. These things are giant. They're a third of the size of these, right? Yeah. Those are mega. Mega. It's very juicy. Yeah. So good. What happened to the potato salad? Did, did you eat all that? You said it? It's the best potato salad in the planet. Oh, really? <laughs> And he said he doesn't like potato salad before he dove into it. Huh. Could it be the that he's really hungry? I think it's because it's got the egg in it. And it's rich. And it's perfect. A lot of vegetables. Yeah. He's aging quickly. He likes his vegetables now. <laughs> So this is our final course, and this is the chicken broth soup. And apparently you just drink it. It's gorgeous, it's got sesame seeds and some onions on it. it smells pretty good. Oh. Wow. Salty. Right? Yeah. Nice. It's a nice broth. It's so thick. The broth. Totally different than miso, right? Yeah. Oh, it is so good. Mm. I like the chewy onions and the sesame seeds too. Mm. Wow. So. 
the top three things about this restaurant, what would you say? First of all, this the meat is all safe, right? Yeah. It's all safe to eat. That's the thing. So contrary to your belief about eating chicken that's raw, I would say go for it. I feel fine, I think. And the taste is amazing. I mean, it kind of to eat it raw is, it's like what you want fish to taste like raw sometimes, but fish doesn't have the flavor that meat has. That's the beauty of it, I think, right? Right. It's just fabulous. I would definitely recommend it. And the location is the other good point, right? This place is really close to Kansai International Airport, the Osaka International Airport. It's close, it's on the same train line, very close. So convenient and it's just, what, a minute from the train station in a little shopping mall, easy to reach. And the last point is, it's delicious. It's freaking delicious. Oh my gosh, is it? It is. Six out of six ranking for sure. It was a great Definitely. experience. Oh my gosh. I had no idea what to expect coming down here trying this, but if you get a chance to come down to the Kansai International Airport area, Osaka, try this place. I'll put a link down below in the description where it's at. Definitely come have a look. And I'm doing a giveaway. There'll be a link on the screen. You can check out the Get Some Snack Packs. There's a total of three of them I'm giving away. So, and finally, the last point is, this is food culture in Japan. You gotta try this kind of special food culture in Japan. It's only in Japan. Only in Japan, you gotta give it a try. It's amazing. And I've been here for 20 years and I've never tried it. I'm so glad I was invited down to give it a try. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Round of applause to the show. Fabulous. Oh. Thank you so much. Go so some of this stuff. Go so some of this stuff. Go so some of this stuff. It was a feast. Oh my gosh.